Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we are looking at my Legend Leap base, and so, as I was looking through the internet trying to find war bases for you guys for CWL, I came across this base right here. It was around 6,500 trophies in Legend Leap, and that's why I chose to build it myself and test it in the start of the season and up till now. So, it's done pretty well. It's about half one stars, half two stars. Um, I don't think anyone's tripled it yet, but bear in mind, it is the beginning of the season, and I've not like pushed up to the top yet. So I'm planning to do that later. So here's the base. It is a typical ring style base, and it's got the it's all it has all the stuff for Tunnel 13 now that Tunnel 13's out and popular and. It's been, the meta's been sort of set for a little bit. So, we have these scatter shots in the opposite locations of the town hall. So the town hall's in the middle, because it's a ring base, and then the scatter shots are on either side. So it's really hard to get both scatter shots with like a queen charge or uh, some kind of kill squad. Next, all single infernos. So, all, singles for, it's all single infernos is because... The multis just don't do too much these days. Um, we have a lot of splash damage with the scatter shots, so having extra splash damage with the with these uh, multi infernos isn't a very big upgrade. When we could have single infernos, which we don't really have any other sort of defense that is as strong as a single inferno, especially when the single inferno is locked onto a good unit like a hero or some of that caliber next we have all ground expos so up at the top of legend league most people use most people use um like a yeti smash or something so that that's the reason why all the ground all the expos are ground um people also use queen charges it's the queen charge meta right now so queen charges are really negated really well with ground expos we also have, um, but also, if you're going to use the space, um, take a look at your defense log and make sure you're not getting attacked by a lot of air attacks. Specifically, um, Sui Lalo or a mass E drags or mass dragons of some description, um, because that completely negates your ground bows. So, in that case, point two of them or all four of them up. So let's take a look at a couple of replays and see how it defends in practice in the actual game. So here we have a we have a Yeti Smash attack. The Yeti Smash is a very common army to bring in Legend League, especially among Chinese players, it seems. So starting off with the funnel on the right side. And he's going to have the queen charge come from there and end up sort of by the eagle area. And that's where he's going to drop the rest of his troops. So queen makes her way around. And I'm going to encounter the enemy queen very soon. Queen, I don't think was supposed to go this way, but ended up going down south towards the eagle. Might have been trying to get up to the top, and then encounter the first Inferno Tower, the outside Inferno Tower first, and then that would help with the back end. Because if you drop the Yeti Smash the way he is right now, he's not going to be able to get to the last Inferno Tower with enough power to get through it. Um, unless there's just a hero left or something. And that's why single Inferno Towers on the back end is really powerful. That's really common among uh, both war bases and legend bases these days. Queen is keeping her way around. Um, and now the funnel's being stored on the bottom side. Uh, Tesla farm on the bottom side as well. And that helps a bit with the back end troops. And it also kind of messes with the funnels, but if you were to if you were to copy the space, I would put the Tesla farm somewhere else, just to sort of throw off attackers a little bit that might expect the 
the um, test farm to be down there. So now all the bowlers and all the yetis are going in. So I'm not a super big fan of bringing bowlers with the yeti smash. And the reason is that the reason why you like to um, have bowlers or you like to not have bowlers in the yeti smash is because then you can use the warden ability and uh, and not save it for the town hall. You can use it later. Um, because normally you would go straight through the town hall in like a typical anti 3 star base would be the town hall sort of on the outside-ish, like behind one layer of walls. And then you don't have to use the warden ability on that, you can use it deeper into the base. So basically none of the units went towards the town hall, and that was the mistake. Here. Next we have a P.E.K.K.A. Smash, so a slightly different army, but this is very indicative of what kind of armies people bring um, down here in that in this uh, part of Legend League. So this guy, instead of using the Quake to open up just a couple, like two layers of walls like in the middle right by the CC, he also breaks open the, the Town Hall layer. So hopefully some of these troops are going to be able to hit the town hall at some point. But instead what happens is the troops go outside of the walls, outside of the walls that weren't taken out, and then they just never come back. He also kind of wastes the CC and just doesn't have enough going for him on the town hall at the moment. Even a whole CC full of hogs or anything really. Can't really take down the town hall on its own. Especially when it's not like the CC's on top of the town hall like a stone slug. And if that's not the case then it's basically impossible for the CC to take out the town hall in this sort of scenario. And we just finish with all the troops just going on the outside, minding their own business, not caring about whether whether um not caring about which buildings they take out and finish with a decent percent but when you have a decent percent one star it's not as good as a two star any two star so yeah it's kind of interesting how different the types of attackers are in legend league down here at the start of legend league there's mostly just spammers here and then as you get to the top you have spammers too but they actually know what they're doing sort of I didn't mean to sort of throw shade at Bill here but like spammers that know what they're doing are just as powerful as a strategic attacker next we have a more strategic attack. This is a sort of queen charge and hog rider attack. So a little bit different from the typical attacks that you see in Legend League and at least the typical attacks you see at the bottom here. And what he does is he opens up the bottom part, he gets the Tesla farm early so that's really good for him. Then he attacks from the eagle side, take that out, and that really helps with the hog riders. And he unfortunately has to use the Queen ability pretty early, pretty early, and he uses a Rage Pelt, and he uses the Warden ability. So he hasn't gotten too much done with the Queen. He still has a lot to go. Well, he's done quite a bit. He's got the Eagle and the Tesla form, but he doesn't have the Queen and Inferno or any Slingshot, Scatter Shots. So that really makes it tough for him. And basically at this point he kind of just gave up I guess. And he's just trying to hope and pray that something's going to go to the town hall. So the town hall isn't quite activated yet. So those hog riders in the middle aren't able to make their way towards the town hall. So 
So at this point, the Town Hall's activated, but there's just not enough damage around there in order to take it out. So the Royal Champion goes down, and the Warden is sort of just on his own, helping out a P.E.K.K.A. And that's about it for this raid. And finally, we have another P.E.K.K.A. Smash um, sort of deal. So Queen Charge at the bottom again, and but this time she's not going to go towards the Eagle. Unless right here against the DE drill. Nope, not quite. So all the troops go in from the right side. So that's also something that I noticed while watching all these replays, is that a lot of attackers like to attack from the top right or the bottom right. So if you want to trap the side, drop that, trap those sides with bombs or something, or like put Teslas on the other side where they don't um, go in from, that might be a good idea for base building. Um, especially against spammers that don't really know what they're doing, as I said earlier. And so, nothing goes, not enough goes towards the jump spell and towards the town hall eventually. So, it's not quite going to get taken out. The scatter shots in the middle really are kind of well protected by all these defenses that are right next to it. Especially for ground attacks, where they don't sort of target the ground um, defenses. And he's left with a wall breaker and an archer to try and get this town hall, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Wizards for some percent, but just not enough percent at all for any kind of, like, any kind of, um, any help, really. So, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed the base. I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.